Hi everyone, this is Rajendran from Market Calls and uh, in this video tutorial we are going to discuss about how to run AMI Broker in the Amazon Cloud. Uh, AMI Broker, uh, I mean, why to run AMI Broker in a cloud? So if you are planning for an uh, algo trading or if you want to uh, run your strategies 24 by 7 and to monitor it, so you need to have a dedicated machine uh, which is doing this 24 bar 7 so if you need enough computing power it's good to go with uh, VPS or dedicated servers however if you need uh, the computing power on demand it's good to go with a cloud uh, where it is cost efficient as well as I mean, uh, uh, computational uh, elasticity uh, is required so amazon has a product called aws aws if you go to aws.amazon.com you can uh, uh, amazon has a free tier of instance and uh, amazon the product name is amazon ec2 where you'll be able to get uh, 750 hours of linux and uh, uh, windows instance so if you are very to amazon very new to amazon uh, cloud services you can try aws for free for the first first year and uh, let me log into the amazon console i have to log into amazon management console here typing my password yeah right now i'm in uh, amazon uh, uh, web services uh, dashboard I'm just going to the EC2. This which is the product which we are where you are going to run our um, AMI broker in the cloud. So EC2 is nothing but an uh, where we can create a virtual server instance. So I'm just going to EC2. Okay. So uh, here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an instance. After that, we'll be logging in. Um, creating an instance means creating a virtual machine on demand. Uh, once I created the instance, I'll be logging into the Windows uh, virtual server and I'll be start installing the AMI broker, right? So here I'm going to the uh, launching the virtual instance here. So now I have to create my machine. So here there are a couple of options. In our case, it is going to be a Windows uh, server uh, 2012 R2 Bay 64-bit edition. Here it is. So I'm just selecting it. So, I mean, uh, as I said, I mean, uh, uh, Microsoft provides a uh, micro instance free for the new users, uh, especially if you are, uh, I mean, and the computation memory is very low, pretty low, I mean, uh, it's 1 GB of RAM usage, and uh, however, they have a uh, couple of bigger instances that comes with a little higher pricing. So, here we go, I'm launching the free tier instance, review and launch, clicking on review and launch. Yes, once you can uh, click on the launch. So, uh, uh, what uh, Amazon tells you, like, I mean, hey, you just create a uh, uh, new key pal. So, every time uh, if you want to get the password, you have to uh, input the key pal file, it will throw you the password. Right now, in this case, I'm just giving it as a name like um, Ami Market Calls. Download the keeper, keep it safe. So probably it is an encrypted file uh, which you need to input every time to get the password. Just launching the instance. It takes some time. Okay, your instance is launching. You notified of estimated charges. Okay, fine. So I'm going to my dashboard again. My account, I'm sorry. Scroll down, go to view instance. So here, it, here is my instance created. Uh, so the instance state is running and uh, it's in the initializing state. It takes a little time to initialize. So it has a uh, public IP. The DNS, I, uh, public DNS, and the public IP. Using this public IP, I can uh, create my. Uh, um, I mean, I can log into my uh, virtual server. 
I, I can either use the public DNS or the public IP, no matter what. And uh, what else? Okay, uh, the, the status is still in the initializing state. So in the meantime, we'll discuss about, uh, I mean, um, why you need to go for a VPS, why not run in a local desktop. Yeah, when uh, running in a local desktop, if you are an algorithmic trader, um, probably, I mean, uh, there are a uh, lot of risk associated with it. Probably, I mean, your system might uh, get uh, rebooted or there might be a software update, you left unnoticed and that once can result in an uh, um, restart of your machine and uh, probably um, your kit might shut down your system, power, uh, you don't have an uh, extra enough backup. So all these challenges will be uh, probably sorted out by a uh, um, virtual server kind of stuff and uh, uh, since Amazon has an uh, uh, pay on the go pricing, I mean probably if you don't need the machine you can shut it down so probably your uh, billing will be on the hourly basis. So if you don't need a computational power, shut it down. Whenever you need a machine you create it on demand so that your billing will be mostly on a hourly basis. However, I mean, if you want to uh, have a uh, machine on dedicated basis 24 by 7, so you can pay a uh, full amount pricing and uh, so that I mean, uh, you, it will be quite cost efficient. So now let me try to log into this instance. Let me, before that, I need to uh, get a uh, password for this account. So the IP is there, anyways. Still an initialization state um, connecting to the machine. So it is asking for the username is administrator and I need to get a password. So getting the password. So to get the password, I need the keypad path. Go to the downloads. My keypad path is and e market calls. Download it. So decrypt the password. So it gives it throws me a password. Right. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just uh, uh, going to open a remote desktop applications. So just I'm using a Windows machine here. So all I need is a remote desktop connection RDC. So here I can input my IP details here. IP details here. I'm trying to connect. It's asking for an uh, administrator, administrator, and the password here is. Here's the password. So here's the password. Login in. Okay, now don't ask me again. Click yes. Okay, so here we go. I mean, so it's now the Windows Server uh, 2012 R2 server is ready now, and uh, um, in a couple of minutes, it's doing the initial configuration setups. Every I mean, it's a one time setup, probably after that, uh, it'll be an instant login. Let us give some time for the system to uh, I mean, boot up for the very first time. Okay. Probably it's applying the puzzle settings. I guess in a couple of seconds we'll be inside the desktop. Yes, the Windows Server 2012 R2 is on now. So what I'm going to do now? I'm going to do I'm going to Internet Explorer. Internet Explorer. I'm going to download Ami Broker. HTML the current version is Ami Broker 5.80.3. I'm just downloading the 32 bit version. Ami Broker also has a 34 bit version. So it's asking for an uh, to add Ami Broker under the trusted sites. So I added it. 
just do a download broker.com slash download or html Sami Rooker has both 32 bit and 64 bit machine so since ours is a 64 bit machine I'm going to download the Sami Rooker 64 bit so it's asking me to save I'm saving it so the download is done and uh, it's running the security scan now I'm going to run it run the Sami Rooker installation file give next I accept the agreement next next Intel it full install here we go the installation is going on here we go so it's also installing the Microsoft Visual C++ 2005 file Yes, if you don't have a Dami Broker, install it automatically. So, launching Dami Broker file hole. Oh, here we go. We got a sample US database. Uh, that's all, everyone. Thanks for listening. We'll uh, soon come up with more interesting videos and tutorials. Until then, I mean, uh, stay tuned with Market Calls. Thank you.